Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I just finished up. Well, I'm almost finished up. Not quite. Not quite finished up. Uh, I'm in the home stretch here. This um, Monte Cristo leather covered cigar box guitar. Now this is a really thin box. Um, and because it was so thin, I opted for one of those surface mount um, pickups from MGB and these are interesting because they just mount on the surface you hot glue them and then the wire goes right through here and then wire it up here so I do have the uh, single coil this is a single coil I have a single coil wired wired in parallel with the piezo through the potentiometer to the jack and of course it is grounded this little wire right here is the the ground wire and I will ground the hinge to the back here so we are just about ready to button this thing up I do have the uh, screen sound hole covers this is a Doug fur neck with a poplar fretboard and I stained it slightly dark to kind of match the box. So anyhow, I'm looking forward to um, plugging this thing in, tuning it up, and tearing it up. All right, so give me another 20 minutes, and then we'll be ready to jam. I'm just about ready to string this guy up. And these are the strings I use. And I like them because it says they're made in America. Anyhow, these are the typical ones that people use to tune to G, D, G. But as you know, I like to tune down to E, B, E. And I do get these at cbgiddy.com. Anyhow, what I like to do is I like to get a little nail. And then, because these guys have a little, little hole in the ball end here, I just stick the nail through. It's easier said than done, especially if you don't have your reading glasses on. Yeah, so it looks like that. Little nail that goes right through there. And then through the hinge and I'll show you what that looks like all right there's many ways to do this this is just an easy quick and dirty way to do it and of course that hinge is grounded so now I will just string this thing up Got the strings on. Tune them up with this little gadget here. Nifty little gadget. And then I've been stretching them out. <clears throat> one, of the, one of the things that I like to do, and I know this might scare some of you, but I take the string and I let the whole guitar hang by the weight of the string. So I'm only holding it by the string here. And I just jiggle it back and forth. I let that string stretch. I do that for all the strings. And these strings are strong. And you should not have nothing to fear. If the string's gonna break, it's gonna break now. But they're not gonna break because these are good strings. Even the skinny little string can hold the weight of the cigar box guitar. So I'm stretching it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And it's gonna be way out of tune. Told you. Finally, after much stretching and tuning and adjusting of the, 
saddle here, I got this thing intonated, and I'm tuned E, B, E. And I do have some reverb dialed up here on the Vox Mini. And, oh my gosh. tones here and we'll put this thing through the paces. Here's some delay. Here's the settings on the Vox Mini. And of course I do have the little Interesting, interesting three string cigar box guitar leather bound. All right, that's it. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out the Patreon. I do have a link in the banner of my YouTube channel. All right, I'll see you in the next video.